Hello everyone and welcome to our Marimba tutorial videos. My name is Michael Sibanda. This has been made possible by the National Arts Council of South Africa. In today's tutorial, we're going to be learning one of my compositions entitled Marimba Nation. And we are going to learn the soprano part. Right, uh, the piece is in the key of G. So the soprano part uh, starts by playing chords. I'm, I'm just going to play the phrase a couple of times through, and then I'm going to break it down for you. Right, it goes like this. Quite a nice rhythm, eh? Right. So uh, you start off with the notes B and D, right in the middle there. And your rhythm is... Right. If you count, it's one, two, three, four, five. All right. One more time. Next, you move to A, C. Just a step down. And the rhythm changes. It now goes... One, two, three. So from the first one, you go. And then. One more time. 
After that, you move down again to G and B. And this time you go back to your first rhythm, which was one, two, three, four, five. All right. Again, one, two, three, four, five. So from the beginning, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five. And then second rhythm. One more time. And then the last one, you move down to F sharp and A with the second rhythm, which is one more time. So the whole thing from the beginning. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. We're going to slow it down. your rhythm now. Right, so that is the first part. That is the introduction. From then on, we move to the main melody, which starts off on the top G. I'm going to play the whole first part of the melody. The melody has got two parts. I'll play the first part of the melody, and then I'll break it down for you. You can see that while I'm playing, I'm alternating my hands. Did you see that? I'm not just using one dominant hand. Try and... Alternate your hands. Right, now I'm going to break it down. So you start with the G at the top. Twice. So G, G, and then F sharp once, and then E, and then D. So G, G, F sharp, E, D. One more time. G, G, F sharp, E, D. Again. Then you move down to C and go. One, two, three. Again. One, two, three. So from the beginning. One more time. Last time. And then we carry on. B, B, B. Again. B, B, B. And then you go to G. Back to B. So B, 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 G, B. Again. B, 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 G, B. And then the last one. A, A, A. That's it, again, A, A, A. So that last part, B, 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 G, B, A, A, A. So from the beginning, G, G, F sharp, E, D, C, 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 B, 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 G, B, A, A, A. One more time. Normal tempo. Right. That is the first uh, part of the melody. The second part of the melody is simple. It, the change is just a small change, and then the rest is the same as the first part. So that should be easy for you. Right. Starts on the D. All you do, you go D, D, D. Again, D, D, D. And then E, D. D, D, D. And then E, D. And then C, C, C. 
B, B, B to B. That's like the first part, the end of the first part. So D, 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 E, D, C, 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 B, B, B to B. Normal tempo. Right, I'm going to put the whole melody together from the first part. So it starts with the G, remember? So. So you see, I play each part twice through. Right, one more time. Normal tempo. Right, that is the main melody of the uh, soprano part. Now I'm going to play from the beginning, from the intro, the chords uh, that start the piece. Right, and then uh, there are lots of other variations that come with the song, but uh, you can stick with these ones and you can play around with them and add uh, a few more if you like. Uh, now I'm going to go straight uh, to the ending, which is also quite simple. Uh, you're playing octaves, D and D. You're playing them together, so you're going to go... And then the third time you're going to... Go faster, one, two, three, four, ah, so it's going to be one and two and one, two, and then double G, octaves G to end. One more time, D and D and one, two, three, four, one last time. Right, now I'm going to play all the parts, but quite short, uh, maybe twice each, and then go straight to the ending, so that you see how it fits in. That's it. Enjoy. Welcome back, everyone. Today, we're going to be learning the tenor part for the piece Marimba Nation. The tenor starts off the whole song. So 
it plays a really important role in this whole piece. So I'm going to play the whole part and then break it down for you. Right. Now, as, you, as I mentioned uh, in the previous video, uh, this piece, Marimba Nation, we played in the key of G. So obviously, we're going to start on the note G on your left, with your left hand. You're going to go G, next. You're going to play with your right hand. B, left hand. D, right hand. The other G on your right, twice. So, G, B, D, G. G. As you can see, I'm alternating my hands, left, right, left, right, right. Makes you play much easier. Rather than going, you might get to miss some of the notes. All right, so always try and alternate so that you have all the notes in view. The next part, you come to the middle, you move to the chord of C. So you've got C and E in the middle there. Starting with the E, you're going to go and then C once. E, E, C. So. One more time. Now, the second time around, you go again. And this time, instead of C and E, you go to D and F sharp. So. All right, so. Right, so that is the introduction. And then after the introduction, uh, the tenor moves into the first part. Uh, this time, you move up to D with your left hand and G with your right hand. So let me just play that part for the tenor before I break it down. Yeah, you keep repeating those uh, rhythms and melodies over and over again. So the first one is D and G. Starting with the left hand, you're going to go D, G, D, G, D. That's one, two, three, four, five. Again, D, G, D, G, D. And then on your left, you go to C and E. Play the chord together twice. C and E. So D, G, D, G, D, C and E, one more time. Then the second time around, you go back again to D, G. Instead of C, E, this time you go to D and F sharp. All right, so putting that together, you sound like this. C, E. D and F sharp. And then the next part, B on your right. 
So you're going to go B, B, A, G, D. B, B, A, G, D. Again, B, B, A, G, D. And then you play the chord against C and E. Right. B, B, A, G, D. And then the chord. And then the second time around, again, B, B, A, G, D. And then D and F sharp. All right. So, D and F sharp. So putting that together, it's going to be B, B, A, G, C and E. B, B, A, G, D and F sharp. Right, now let me put the whole thing together. So the second uh, variation. So those are the, uh, the variations that you need to learn for the tenor part. And then the changes that come uh, in the song will be between the, that intro and the main rhythm. So these are the two important parts that you need to learn. Enjoy. Thank you. Right, our next uh, video is going to be a tutorial uh, for the most exciting instrument in the ensemble, the baritone. It's got real character, so, and I'm sure you guys fight over who plays baritone. Right, so I'm going to play you uh, the whole Marimba Nation baritone part before I break it down. That is the part. Sorry, I went off like that. I'm just going to teach you the basic part, okay? I forgot that I was supposed to play the basic part and got too excited, hey? Eh? So I'm just going to teach you that first basic part, all right? So basically, uh, your left hand is playing this on the baritone. It's going G, C, D, all right? G two times. C two times, and D four times. That's your left hand. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. And then your right hand. Just to work on that top part, that's a bit tricky. G, D, A, D, G, G. You can start over. That's 
that's your basic pattern. I know I played some other fancy stuff, but that's not for you. <laughs> Welcome back. Now we move on to the bass, which is the big guy that keeps the whole ensemble together. We're going to be working on the bass part for Marimba Nation. This is how it sounds. the bass part. All right, simple, straightforward. We start on the note G. So you're going to play G twice. G, G, followed by A. Once C, once D two times. Lower D two times. One more time. G twice. A once. C once. D two times the lower D two times. All right, so. And you can see I'm alternating my hands all the time. Second variation. Start on G again. Twice, C on your left, twice, the D on your left, four times. All right, G twice, C on your left, twice, D four times. Now I'm going to put the pass together, starting with the G going up, play that twice, and then the second part twice. Now I'm going to take you back to the introduction where the uh, bass comes in uh, with the raw. I'm going to play the whole part and then break it down for you. So that was the intro. One more time. So you start with a roll, eight bits on D. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, G, G, G. Then the second time, still on D. On the beat. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, G, G, G. Third time, still on D. Meaning beats. And then into the song. One, two, three, four. Oh, 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 
that was also the ending. All right. So as, as, as you can see, the base is kept straightforward, not too many variations. Otherwise, you disturb the whole ensemble. So you just skip through the beat. Enjoy. Thank you. <laughs>